Hi! Oh, oh, hello everyone. It's me, Nick. Avocado. We're back home. Hey, shoop do We're home. Hello, we're back home. Hey, shoop do I'll sing the rest of the song in a minute because I have to go out and buy some seafood. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. I have to go to the Costco. Okay, my favorite place to shop. It's actually, if I had to choose one store to shop in for the rest of my life, it would always be Costco. The carts are big, the people are big, the portion sizes are big. Big, 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 I feel right at home there. And I just, you know, when you buy a soap from Walmart, it's not the same as buying a soap where it's for them all wrapped around in plastic and you're saving $3 for buying in bulk, even though you have to pay more. Well, now you have extras. You just need a bigger house now. Just put all this stuff. You need a bigger car so you can load the car. Big car, big house, big everything. Big debt. I'm doing okay, I suppose. Y'all saw yesterday's video. Yeah. <laughs> Life is real great over here, isn't it? It's real peachy. Peachy and cream. All right. And I got a lot of commotion on my third channel, Nikocado Avocado 3. Nikocado 3, that was when Orlin came back and it was just... It was just, you know, a lot of hitting, a lot of hitting. <laughs> ah, and um, today I decided that I need something to cleanse my soul because this is what I'm going to be living with for the next four or five months. I'm still heal healing my three broken ribs. Actually, wait, are they healed yet? I think they're healed. They're healed! Yay! We're back home. Hey, shoot do we're home. Hello, we're back home. Shoot do we're home. Hello, and this is hot and steamy because we're eating seafood boy. Yo, we're back home. Hey, shoot do we're home. Hello. All right, there's my intro. I know y'all missed it. Um, but yeah, the three ribs are, broke, are healed now, but now I'm back to dealing with this monster who's in my apartment and I'm not really happy about it. I mean, I can't even collaborate with him. It, it, yesterday's video, he just sat there like a lump on the log, barely even spoke. He just brought the vibe down so low. And so today I'm doing something by myself, unless he comes here and throws shit at me and then he's going to get it because I'll have a crab leg. Stand back. Yeah, today we're doing a seafood boil. I was like, I'm kind of craving like some nice, thick, juicy crab legs and some Cajun sauce. Like Cajun sauce or Bee Love sauce or something buttery, home style cooking. So, I said, I haven't, I was like, when's the last time I've done a seafood boil? I have not done a seafood boil for five months. Five, that's almost half a year. Why hasn't anyone said hello? Knock, 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 is your brain home? You promised. <laughs> this is on my more Nikocado channel, right? We've had this channel for about a year and a half, right? When I started this channel, it was after my third one got demonetized. And um, I was like, oh God, oh, what am I gonna do? So I spoke to my manager. He's like, just do another one. We believe in you. And thank goodness it grew. But hey, I had to put in the work, all right? Things aren't handed to me. I just saw this Twitter feud about people saying equal opportunity and equal, uh, what was the other word they used? Not equal opportunity, equal outcome. We can't all have equal outcomes. We can have equal opportunity, but some are gonna work harder than others. Some are gonna be luckier than others. Some people are gonna shock you. Oh my God, they did that, but they have the tools in their toolbox to make it happen. So, all right, people always compare me to all these other YouTubers. Well, guess who puts in the work? Me. I don't have an editor, I don't have a team, I don't have a cameraman, I don't have people to clean up, I don't have people to go shop. I mean, I guess Orlin when he's here, but he doesn't edit. Oh my God, that's all me. So anyways, and he doesn't have to digest. What I'm trying to say is seafood boil. We haven't done this for so long and I'm like, let's go do it. So I just put on an order for um, Costco. And I'm gonna bring you along because I'm gonna go pick it up, but I also kind of want to go through because Halloween just happened So now Christmas We're gonna see trees and lights like literally November 1st boom everything is holidays, you know So what was that that was yesterday? So today we are going to see what they did because I was gonna go yesterday on the first but I'm like uh, They might not have it up yet So I want to give them a good 24 hours Costco to put up your Christmas trees put up the wreaths Sing Jingle Man, you know, Jingle Bells. 
So when I go shopping at my favorite store with the large and a charge carts, with the large and a charge portion sizes, and the large and a charge debt, and my large and a charge car for my large and a charge house, for my large and charge attitude, I can be happy by seeing all the lights. So I'm gonna vlog that for my patrons. So if you wanna see me out of this apartment, out and about, people get a real kicker out of it. They love to see me out and about doing stuff. Well, um, you have to go to my Patreon. Click the link down below. It's only for grown-ups. I post vlogs there out of the house and I go do stuff. I drive through. I went to Del Taco the other week and late night Del Taco. It was so good. But anyways, let's start the show. So, like I said, seafood boil. Happy, uh, I was gonna wish you happy November yesterday, but again, with that sour, sour, sour individual right here who broke the chair. And remember I showed you the screw? I forget if that was yesterday or the day before. There's a screw that came out from underneath his chair. And I just cleaned the place all by myself, mind you, all by myself. <sighs> with this... All right, see that you that that figurine and this thing, that thing. So, so cause I don't like bending over cause I'm a little fluffy. So I'm like, oh, there's a napkin. Drop it. Oh, there is a ranch cup. Drop it. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna grab it from your hand if you don't give it to me now. I want what you have if you don't get it. I'm gonna take it from you. I want that. There you go, there, there's your meme of the day. Oh my God, I'm sweating. That's one bad thing about the you know what, which I'm not gonna say on YouTube, the BBB. I sweat so easily now. So easily, like if I'm ever out and about or if I'm visiting someone, I say, please make it nice and cold. I'm sweating. I can't stand hot houses. I can't stand hot, stuffy apartments. I can't stand hot, stuffy in store stores. I went, I tried going to church the other day. They did not have the AC on good enough. It was like 75 degrees, 74 degree humidity building up because there's no circulation. I was dripping as well. So I left church. It's church's fault that I didn't stay in church. Because I was literally, I would, there would have been a pool, pool of water weight on my seat. And the old lady next to me had, would have been like, oh, he leaked. Oh. You know, I don't want to put people through that. I'm hot just literally getting up and doing that. I'm so hot. I'm so freaking hot. It's a side effect of the BBB. I mean, I was always someone that um, got hot very easily. I've always been that way. Even when I was thin, even when I was eating a healthier diet, even though this is still healthy, my dietitian approves, but you know what I mean? Um, different food groups, lack of other food groups, I was still always overheated. If, if, there, if it's 80 degrees or above, I'm not going out. I'm staying away, unless it's like at the beach or something where it's like a constant breeze. But even then, it can be really difficult. I like 60s and 70s. So, with that said, I'm still catching my breath from just doing that one. So that's what I'm saying. Look how clean this place is. I got a fresh sheet. Fresh sheet. I restocked my napkins on my napkin holder. That's over here. I have extra vitamins, so I'm extra healthy. And we have my scissors. Look at me, all my supplies. The only, have to, only thing I have to go do is get some water and some black gloves. But first, let's go to Costco. So I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna leave my little studio. Okay. I'll see you guys at Costco. Those of you on my, on my Patreon account, let's let's go. People love to see me shop and talk about things and touch everything. And then we're just gonna eat. And this is gonna be an hour at least to cook all this stuff. But luckily, the seafood boys, you just throw it all into. I have this big pot. It's like this big. I throw all everything in there except for the egg. And I steam it, and when it's done, I just I just rub Cajun all over it, and I make my little my my little my little dip, you know. And then we're ready to eat. So goodbye. I'll see you guys over there. Let's go Costco! Yay! Link down below.
I'll be right back. <laughs> Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. So here we are. It took me, I mean, look at my face. Look how many rosy cheeks I have. One, two, three, four, and five, double chin. You guys, look, look at this scrumptiousness. These are delectable. Watch, I drop on the floor. <laughs> delectable. These all come from the Costco. My patrons gotta see me shop for them. We have corn. We also have mussels. Everything I rubbed in Cajun sauce. Again, it took a long time. And we have some scallops over here. And we have some freshly cut Costco lemons over here. Costco, 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 Costco. Invest, invest, invest. Ah, uh, when you like of something, you invest. Which is why, excuse me. If I'm gonna invest in Costco because I believe in it, it makes me happy. Don't I make you happy? Yes or no, I do. So what are you gonna do? Invest, invest, invest. Buy a t-shirt, support my Patreon, buy a video for, I'll make a special video for you on my Cameo, link down below for all those things. Invest in my channel, please. If you're enjoying this, even if you're a hater and you're still investing your time, it's time to show the money. And then we have a delicious sludge, ooh. Ooh, it's gonna like fall. It has butter. I'm gonna flatten this. I'm also gonna bring the camera down. So, you guys, I'm gonna snap my fingers and make this really pretty, and then we're gonna feast. Yay! All right. It looks. I'll do a really up close thing for you before I snap my fingers. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Invest in my channel, please. This was expensive. One, two, three. Down. And this is hot and steamy. Cause I'm eating seafood boil. Now I'm gonna cl clap too loudly because look at them. Look at my hands. They're shiny. They're covered with stuff. Cheers. This is a fresh, clean mug with cold water. Oh my god, my double chin popping out with this. Image to store stations. Oh, cheapers, creepers. Anyways, let's begin. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I have my scissors. What are we gonna do first? What are we gonna do first? First, we, first we're going to have a shrimp. And actually, first, y'all are gonna buy a brand new t-shirt from my merch store. It's just waterweight.com. I put so much work into it, you guys. All right, so I kinda wanna just like, oh, I forgot to do it. Get some of that sauce off, ooh. Mmm. Ooh, it's spicy. Cheapers, creepers. This is Cajun, Cajun sauce, and this. <gasps> This has onions. Oh my, oh, wait, look at everything falling in here. My lemons, they are drowning. <gasps> wow. I don't even feel like you can see. <clears throat> Let me get a, um, I'm gonna put this behind so you can see what I'm dealing with. Look, look, look at this. Spicy butter. Oh. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. I love life. I love being skinny. Next, we're going to try a corn. Let's try it with the Cajun rub. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. I haven't eaten all day. This feels so good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna try it with some Cajun, oh, some Cajun butter. Mm. <gasps> mm. Oh my God. 
let's do a king crab leg right now. Let's just skip to the, the entree. I have all these appetizers everywhere, but this is so good. Snap, crack, here we go. Ooh, ouch, here we go. I'm gonna use this edge to help me out a little bit. Ooh, I don't think I can do it. There we go. <gasps> king crab leg. I'm making a mess and I'm loving this. It's all running down my face, I feel it. Oh my God. Cheapers, creepers, ouch! Spiny little thing. Oh my gosh, I was about to lick this. I'm like, no, these have little spikes on them. That butter sauce is so, oh. 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 We're going fishing. We are going fishing. Hello. Hello. Hello, oh, excuse me, look at this. Look. Oh my God. Oh, all right, let's just go for it then. Oh gosh. Dunking it in, ooh, dunking it in. Dunking it, look at that beautiful, oh. Oh. Oh, ooh, oh. 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 Oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Is this real life? Lemon squeeze. Oh. Oh. I'm at loss for words right now. I'm at loss for words. Let's try an egg. Ah! This was so good. Ah! I'm at loss for words. I'm literally so about to. Oh my god. It's so salty. Ah, it's so spicy. The wet. Oh, here's an egg for everyone that likes eggs. I'm gonna dump it in. Ooh. Oh. Mm. 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 And with this too. This is so good. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 I'm eating like a king. This is how you get your vegetables in. Let's try a potato. And then we have to do the lobster. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh my god. Shrimp. Mmm, that shrimp flavor. <clears throat> Let's get a little more lemon. I thought I had a, oh. Shh, there we go. Oh. It's all over my chin, I'm so sorry. But I'm not really. <laughs> There's nothing to be sorry for. Scallop, 
scallop right here. I'm dunking it in. Let's get some onions. <clears throat> Excuse you. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Mmm. That's delicious. I hear orchestral music in my head, like <laughs> like happy scenes. Like you just you're you're winning the battle. The battle's not over yet. You're earned yeah. Mm. It's like action music, but like the good guys winning type of thing. Mm. Now we're gonna try. I have so many of these. These are called mussels, and they've already had Cajun sauce. I'm gonna try just with some Cajun sauce. I know why people like Cajun sauce so much. It's it makes something like let's be honest. These mussels don't taste. They're very pre peculiar taste. A little different, you know. A situation. They mask the flavor so well. Come on, be, be real. Everyone likes to eat seasoning. Next. We have another king crab leg over here. Ooh. Orchestra music is in my head. Snap it. Can I do it? I did. And we're also going to cut this piece. Don't lose that piece. We have to eat it. And then we're going to take this piece. I'm gonna cut this piece too. Oh my god. But, excuse me. I'm eating like a king, you guys. No. <gasps> oh. Where are the strings? I, the, the strings are in here. Take a look at that king crab meat. Look. Look at that king crab meat. Excuse me. Oh, look at this king crab meat right here. It's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's drumped. Is that a past tense of dripped? I drumped it. <laughs> here we go. Lemon squeeze. Mmm. Mmm. Did I eat the strings? Oh, well, who cares? Oh my god, this is so good. Somebody help me. Oh, that's so much Cajun. If you guys want to know how I make this, it's very simple. Spice one up my nose.
That was a really gross snake. You better edit that part out. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, this is so good. All right, now we're gonna do some more mussels. I wanna make sure everything down here I've eaten out of. So I have to eat this, and I have to eat. Let's do these little, these smaller legs. I had three. Let's do another big leg. I like the big legs first. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm snorting. I'm like, kunk, kunk. it's because I feel like there's spice in my lips. Ouch. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna have big rashes under my my chin tomorrow, unless I put enough makeup on it. Ooh. Wow. I just say I'm exfoliating. Anyways, I, my mind's going like so many places right now. Have I been speaking? I don't really know. When I have seafood boils, I'm just like, I'm just eating. I'm just like, I'm eating, I'm grubbing, I'm enjoying. <sighs> I like this. It makes me feel, feel like I'm going fishing. We're going fishing for a thick leg. <laughs> fishing for a thick third leg. Excuse me if you know what I mean. Although, to me, that's not thick at all. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. That's okay. I will still... Oh, okay. It got too heavy, so it snapped. There we go. Mm -hmm. Make it rain. Just like that. I can't see my phone to see who that is, but it's probably Nancy. Oh. This is so good. This is so amazing. Oh. Wow. Hello, shine bright like a diamond. What's this focusing on? I need to know. Hello, what's the focus here? Hello. Do I need to put a bowl in front of this so it focuses? Like, what's the focus right now? I need to know. There we go. Now it's back on my face, as it should be. All right, we're gonna dip it here into this sauce. Get some, oh, that was a lot of lemon juice. Ma'am. We saved the lobster for last. Buttered corn. On my double chin. I'm really happy. I don't <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so fun, so messy, so expensive. I just better get a live use. That's also, speaking of views, I'm like, okay, what do I eat today? What's the views? What do people want more of? Excuse me, let me rephrase this. Not what people want more of. What does YouTube want more of? And what do people click? And then they say they don't like it, but they're still clicking it. What does that want more of? <clears throat> I'm like, my seafood, I was craving seafood today. Um, my last seafood boil has almost a million views. I'm like, oh, on this channel, it's like 800,000. That's so many people to watch me eat like this. Oh, look at my face. Hi. Hello, everyone out there in the stadiums. Like, imagine a football stadium. That's like 70,000 people. A football stadium. Sometimes 60,000. A huge one. Was it the Michigan one? Where it's like the biggest one on earth. It holds 100,000 people. Eight of those watched me do this. Hi, everyone. You know, I don't really have stage fright too bad. I majored in performance. I was going to be an actor or a performer or violinist. I was going to do something performance-wise. So I love being on stage. I love seeing all the people in the audience. I love to perform. So I feel like I would have enjoyed being a politician, even though I don't know much about politics. I know more than the average person, but 
I would have enjoyed campaign speeches. I love memorizing speeches. I love perfecting the words. Obviously, famous people have writers now, but... I always got A's. A's. It was very hard to get an A from those teachers. In my school, who it, we did these oratorical classes, but we had a, but there's also contests we do, and I always got first black prize out of the whole school. You wouldn't believe it from watching these videos here. Maybe you would. I like that saying: if you imagine it, you can do it. Like I set my mind like today, I'm gonna stand before you on this podium and convey a message of hope and sounding very angrily while I do it. It's all theater, you know what I mean? All politics is theater now. But it's really just speaking. It was my, it was, I still got nervous. That's, one time we were all sitting down and my teacher, she would call us randomly, she would put our names into a little, what were they? Probably Kleenex box, a tissue box, because you know teachers are poor. I think they should get more pay, more payment. But you know, so they're creative with what, things to. You know, the school's not handing them stuff sometimes. So she used like an old tissue box with little pieces of paper that had our names on them. She was shuffling around and pulling a name, like you know, pulling it out of a hat. Look at my face. I look so like a clown right now. Um, and then she would call us randomly to get, get stand up in the front of the room and give your speech. You've had a month and a half to work on it. You all need to come prepared. But it was all—it was by chance. Who's ready? And one time, I had my speech ready. I had it ready. And th we did this thing in class where, again, we're all sitting in our desks. And the teacher would sit in her desk at the behind of the classroom. We would have to get up to the front by the chalkboard. And she called say Rachel's name and Rachel will be like not ready okay you're not ready you'll get 10 points off so even if you're perfect the best you can get is a 90 not a 100 and if you're called a second time you're not ready the best if you're perfect the best you can get is a 80 out of 100 so say you're an average person the speech was like eh, you flopped you, you only had one note card it was like a challenge <laughs> What's that thing everyone's talking about, the octopus games? Like, this could be one of those games where you have one card for notes. You can't have pieces of paper because we're trying to train ourselves not to be looking down and reading something, but to speak from up here and practice it. Hard. Hard for, you know, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade type of thing. Seventh grade, I remember. Um, that's difficult. And we would have one note card. You could make bullet points. You could write full sentences, but you only had one. Front and back. You could squeeze little letters in there. You could print off big, bold letters, just bullet points. It was up to you. And the speech had to last at least 10 minutes. Like, she would put on a timer. And if it was under, you got points off. If it didn't make sense, and you just spoke to spit, like, oh, you can't say filler words. You couldn't say like or um or and or uh. Subtract, subtract, subtract. So many people flunked that class. So I remember, oh my God. So many people, including myself. So here's the story. We'll get so nervous, even if we were prepared. So <clears throat> it was pretty often where she'd be in the back pulling out names from the hat and she'd say, Mark, not ready. Sarah, not ready. Rachel, not ready. Nick. And one time I said, not ready. And the whole class was like, <gasps> because, you know, it wasn't just like once for the year. We would do this every marking period, so every quarter. So, you know, if they'd seen one or two rounds of Nick Akato getting up in front of the class and giving a speech, they knew, oh, he, he, he's a good speaker. Oh, he does a good job. Like, you know when the kid's nervous and they're like, and, but my nerves got to me that time. And I had my speech memorized. I had perfected it. I, I was prepared. But I was so nervous, I told the teacher, not ready. And all, all everyone looks at me like, Nick's not ready. Oh. And I'm like, ooh. Yeah. And I remember I got like an 87 or an 88 for that speech. Which means had I gone when I was called to go, I could have gotten a 98. That's pretty incredible. But because I wasn't ready, I got 10 points off. And so the... so. 
Basically, the teacher would say, hey, you have an assignment. You have to make a speech about this topic. Go for it, you know, and then we'd have four weeks to prepare. And then we'd spend one to two weeks, because, you know, there's only like 30 minutes in a, in a class, right, till the bell rings. So how many people can you fit in there? Two, three, four, depending on how long speeches go for for people. Some people would be exactly 10 minutes. Some would be like 15. Some would be 13. Um, so if there's 30 people sitting in a classroom, it's going to take you a week, a week and a half to get through everybody. But you all have to be ready on the same day, even if you're not called until the very end. All right. So y'all, I'll never forget that. I was so mad at myself too, but I was so nervous. I was so nervous. And I think I would have friends in these classes sometimes and they would look at me and start laughing. Like if I'm standing before the class looking around, giving my speech, and I create eye contact. Oh, that's the thing too. You'll get points knocked off if you're not giving good eye contact. This was not an easy class. Let alone getting from saints, getting up to the front, speaking before your friends or people you hate. But also having to make it about a topic that you just learned last month. And it has to have a time limit. And you can only use one card. And if you're not giving... Oh, sometimes you get points off. Be like, neglected the left side of the room. With your eyes. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking to myself right now. I'm like, dang, some of our political leaders could use some brushing up in public speaking. I just watched David Attenborough. Shout out to uh, Jamie Baby Cotto, our producer here on the Nikocado channel. <laughs> she... Uh, sent me on Patreon a message of David Attenborough giving a speech at the climate summit or something. Um, oh my God, he's 95 years old and he had so much like enthusiasm and he didn't look down at the podium, not a single time for notes. Where is he in his speech? Is he lost? There were no teleprompters and he's looking around the room and he's engaging with people his message about what he thinks. And then you have other thou should not be named political leaders that get up there and read from a teleprompter. And I get it. Speeches are hard. David Attenborough probably worked half a year on that. You know, you know this is coming up. You're scheduled to speak. You have four months to prepare. That's his only speech probably. I get it. He's doing TV. All right. Well, he's probably reading voiceovers. I understand you have other political leaders that have to give speeches every day. So they need help. I totally totally get that. Paper, cards, teleprompters, whatever. But man, at least act like you're excited to be there. Where is the energy? So really, I'm not saying too much about, oh, the people didn't, they didn't memorize their speech like David Attenborough did. That's fine. Like I said, I totally understand when you have millions of others on your plate. But at least try to look excited to lead the world. We're looking to you to lead us. And you're like, you're like, you look like you're about to just like drop down. And I hate to say that, but you really do. Ugh, where's the excitement? You know, I, I notice these things. Uh, well, everyone knows these, these, these things actually, but I don't know how I got onto this subject, but let's keep eating. One time, okay. My OG viewers who have been watching me for years, there was a time, okay, there's people that watch every single one of my mukbangs. Actually, Raven and Miranda told me when they first met me, we're one of your viewers that watches you to the very last second. They put me on their TV and they watch from start to finish. Wow. So there's, and actually I was just talking to my manager, going over analytics for like the past three quarters, because we're in the last quarter now. And he pointed out that it's like, you know, nine to 10% of your audience stays to the last second. And you know, the video we were talking about was my one on the main channel, which had like 1.9 million views. And it was like 11%, 10% stayed to the last second. What's 10% of 2 million? 20,000 people. 20,000 people. Or maybe more. No. Yeah, 20,000 people stayed until the very last second. If my math serves me correctly, which it probably doesn't because I hate math. That's so many people. But anyways, like I'm saying, so there's a bunch of you that are still here. That's all I'm trying to get at right now. A lot of people have left. They watch half the video, whatever. Maybe a minute, they click out. 
Um, so you people that I'm speaking to, you you probably remember one of my, my mukbangs where I talked about wanting to recite some of my old papers from high school and college here in my mukbangs. Obviously not one of these mukbangs where it's really messy. Like, you should see what's behind me. It's just like so much mess. So imagine holding a paper right now, <laughs> but something a little more clean. <coughs> something that doesn't require my hands to get too dirty. Something I use a fork for and whatever. But then I said to myself, oh, people are gonna steal my work and submit them to their school. I guarantee, I guarantee. People are gonna be like, oh, that's, an, that's a good speech. I'm literally just gonna say that's mine. They'll listen, they'll type it out and they'll submit it for something, I don't know. I mean, some of them were, re a lot of them that I have, I still have the physical copies. I was really into writing. And um, a lot of them are about books. They're reviews of books. So it would also require you to, you know, if you're a student watching this video, which you shouldn't be unless you're in college. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, you'd have to also have the same book. You'd have to have an assignment that requires a book that this would just so happen to be allowed or kind of like fit the criteria that you have, which again, these are kind of like, what are the chances of that? I don't know. But even if one person takes my work and resubmits it, I'll be so upset because I put my heart and soul into my, I always have actually everything I've done in life, whether it's, um, my violin or writing or oratorical contests or acting or now my YouTube channel, whatever, whatever skit, whatever effort just to show up and prepare a feast. I put everything I have into everything, you know, decorating a house, cleaning an apartment, um, designing merchandise. Like I'll go full force into making it exactly what I want it to be. Um, so I did it with my speeches. I don't know how we got onto this topic. I'm really sorry if this is boring, but with 20,000 people still here, it ain't that boring, is it? Oh, and by the way, that 10% that stayed to the very end was for my main channel that had tw 2 million views for that video. So it's like diluted with a lot of people that just discovered me, happen to be recommended, don't know who it is, they click, they click out because they're not invested, they're not emotionally attached, they're not as interested as somebody who's been following me for a long period of time. So, um, whereas on this channel, my watch time is so good. I mean, not to brag, but I'm kind of bragging because this is more of like an intimate group in a way, because you guys are here every day. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, let's keep eating. See, this is every time I do seafood, I get kind of like, this fake fullness, the protein, it gets to me. I'm like, my appetite's gone, what? I've barely had any calories. This is what eating protein does. You guys know I'm a carb lover before everything else. And fat, I like carbon. And carbs and fat together, oh yes, please. Mmm. I was gonna do a seafood, well I wasn't going to do. I thought about doing a seafood boil with Nancy, but she had to go, Nancy's coming back in a couple of days. So we might do a seafood boil, it's up to her. You guys know my attorney, Nancy? I was very selective with my attorney because I've been through like, too many attorneys, let's just say, too many. Let me remind you all something. Attorneys are people too. They are not all equally gifted. They are all not equally um, equipped. Some of them have big firms, so you're just a number to them, or you, get, or you get lost in the mix, or you don't get timely responses. You need a smaller firm, where it's just like an assistant or two, maybe a side lawyer for smaller projects or whatever, or people that want to pay a little bit less. And um, it's more like 
hands-on. But then you also sometimes get stupid people too. Yeah, it's a small firm, hmm, wonder why, you're horrible. Why am I finding spelling errors in something I just paid you a lot of money to write for me? I could have written this. Let's we'll see what I mean. Um, Nancy was a lawyer that I found after many months, many months, excuse me, two years actually, of shifting between attorneys to attorneys. Because too many people were taking my work and making profit off of it without my release, without my consent. And, um, you know, I, I had had it. I had had it up to here. Because I know that's wrong. Okay, you make a video, you play something, you review it once or twice, okay. But I'm talking like entire channels. And I was ready to do something about it, and I did. so funny how many different interpretations of laws there can be. <laughs> God. So interesting to me. But you see that in like religion all the time. Any text, a text message from a friend, you can interpret it five different ways. Reading and writing and then having to know what you're trying to convey can be difficult. Sometimes sarcasm goes over your head. Sometimes one detail, such as a, I don't know, a punctuation that changes, can change the whole meaning. It's crazy. I mean, I remember when I was in school, someone told me, don't put smiley faces in formal emails or form formal letters. If you're doing business with someone, do business with anybody. If it's a professional type of thing. Smiley faces are not the time and place. It's just unprofessional. It's just not normal. But I have to be honest with you and say that I love I'm thinking of two people that I'm working with right now that do smileys kind of often. And it's just a nice feeling to see them put a smile. So I know they're sending me a smile. It might not be professional and I understand. But man, with how much misinterpretation there is and... Sometimes you can tell yourself things that aren't there, you know? A smile can prevent a lot of, uh, a lot of issues. You're like, really? Yes, really. I had a, um, a meeting with someone just recently. It's me, this person, and another person. Let's call them Bob and, uh, Rachel. Bob and Rachel. And I was meeting with Rachel. And Bob, Rachel, and I have like a group message going on. And then Rachel and I met privately. But Bob knew, but this is not like secrets. We're working together on something. And Rachel started mentioning like, I think Bob didn't like that. Or I think Bob's a little upset by this. Or by, you know, Bob was very short in his writing. And we're having to... Be quiet. We're having these insinuations based on text, right? And then we call Bob on the phone to like recap on something. And Bob's so happy. But Bob seemed very short and angry in the email. He might not have been at all. He might have been asking Siri to type it, you know? He might have been doing something and busy, just said very shortly, no, I already told you. Duh, duh, duh. That sounds angry, no, period, I already told you, period. Oh no, are we, is he disappointed in us? No, he's not. It's no different than me saying to you, no, I already told you, so we're gonna do this. Like, do I sound angry? No. No, I already told you, so we're actually gonna do this. But, so I kind of like, but then again, does it make sense to put a smile? No, period. I already told you, period. Smiley face. Now that looks like they're being like cunning. Where, you know, a little, a little slimy, a little snaky. Like, no, I already told you. 
Yeah. Anytime you're working with people, there's problems. That's just life. One of the big, uh, the biggest lessons I've ever learned. I've ever learned. This life is all about perspective. A, but B. Would be how do I phrase this? Uh, it's kind of just like don't do well on minor things. Don't live in the past. Don't dwell on minor things. Don't waste all your precious time and energy on your short period here on Earth to be thinking about what other person thought. Your job's not to be here on Earth thinking what another person's thinking. <laughs> your job's not to think what they think. Ask what they think or move on, you know? Wondering and dwelling on minor things. Letting your own mind take something minor and make it major. Like when the Subway sandwich person doesn't put extra cheese and I paid for extra cheese. I am still thinking about that to this day. You know what I mean? Like, huh, don't do that. I'm pretty good about not doing that, to be honest. And I think that's why I'm able to like keep going in my life with so many different things and always showing up here, even with Orlin being crazy. Um, because my life is moving fast. I'm constantly, every day is something new. It's not, you know, there's people in life that have like one thing happen to their life for the whole year. Like that one event, it just is the only major thing that happens to them for the whole year. There's people that are like robots. They, you know, Unfortunately, not, not a lot, not by choice, but they turn on the alarm clock, they get up, they go, they shuffle, they do the thing, they come home, repeat, 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 repeat. So life, you know, that's their cadence. That's their, that's their rhythm. Do, 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 do. Anything new floats above it. It's like forming a musical melody. And there are some people where every day it's like, there's no cadence. Like, that's me. Every day is something different. I have to improv. I'm always improvising. Um, and so, but then I like going back to those people that have the same cadence or there's people that just don't do anything. There's people who were retired, who I'm thinking of someone from my church that every day is very slow paced, very simple. So one little thing and they're going to focus on it and think about it for the whole year, <gasps> for the whole year. And that's just not normal. But their cadence, they don't even really have a cadence because their life is so empty. This is a problem with people who retire. That's the number one thing I hear all the time from some of my friends and coworkers who are older that say, you know, I'm afraid to retire because I see what happens. You know, I just turned 60, woo. Um, well, now you have 30, 40 more years. What are you going to do? And if you just sit at home and have this very slow routine, the mailman dropped a package. Ah! You're gonna think about it for seven days till, you're gonna think about it for seven months. I'll never forget when the mailman dropped the package. Whereas if you're refreshing your mind, like reset, reset, reset every day because you're keeping busy, you have projects, you are doing things, you're active, you're, you're gonna forget about that package or you're not gonna care as much because life goes on. Don't make something minor into major. And people, that's one of the best things I've learned um, over the past couple of years, really, letting minor things become major things. It's really in your control more than you want to admit. I mean, I get things happen that are external. You know, someone totals your car. That's a major event. Uh, okay, that's not a good example. That's actually very major. Okay, I'm trying to think, like, something that's... You know, like, oh no, but not that, that big of a deal, but you could make it a big deal if you let it. I can't think of an example right now, but. Again, like, again, me and my, um, Rachel and Bob. Bob sent a very short e oh, there we go. Bob sent a very short, short-winded email. Now Rachel and I are like, oh no, he's angry. No, he's not. 
<laughs> He's not angry. He's probably doing something. We're, we're thinking too deeply. We, we need to move on. We're, we're looking too deeply into it. <sighs> Actually, it wasn't me. It was Rachel that was looking too deeply into it. And I was like, Rachel. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Mm. The biggest jokes about my seafood boils as I'm always petrified. Okay, so I spent like what five, six hundred dollars on a bunch of whole lobsters. They're all sitting in my freezer. In the past, um I just clunked my teeth. That's one bad thing about my Invisalign. They shifted my 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 bite. To be quote unquote correct. But I'm not used to it, so sometimes they clunk. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, these lobsters, the past four or five or six times, I open up their tails, there's eggs in them. Lobster eggs. And it freaks me out and I can't eat it. And I feel like the whole batch is bad. I'm always afraid to open it. <laughs> oh, now if I buy, so this did not come from Costco. A lot of this stuff did. The the um, the lemons, the potatoes, the king crab legs, the corn. Although the corn's expensive. I could get it for 30%, um, not 30%, 60% cheaper at my lo local grocery store. Costco's good because they have things that you can't find other places a, lo a lot of the time. And most of their deals are good. But when it comes to food and produce, depending on where you live, or what kind of shops are near you, it's not necessarily the cheapest thing. I like Costco because they're usually unique finds. Or like the electronics, you always save a good 2%, 3%. Or um, like my electric toothbrush, they always have the, the little tops, the heads, you can replace them. Or um, they have things that I can't get anywhere else, like those mandu dumplings. Or big family sized things of Doritos. They're like half the price of the other stores. You know, so a lot of things that's good. Soaps and toothpastes, vitamins and um, kombucha. Things are so well priced at Costco. I love their kombucha. Their pizza is 10 bucks. It's big, it's good. Um, what else do I get from Costco? I'm thinking of what I got here too. Well, this, is, this was a special trip. But I like, um, I've got so many things from there. Gee, I can't even think anymore. I swear, how, half this, how, can't talk. Half of this house has been furnished by Costco. Oh, my, my Lazy Boy uh, office chair. It was like $200 cheaper than anywhere else. Anyway. <sighs> Did I eat everything? No, I still have this. I'm getting kind of full. Let's do these things. This is a nice seafood boil, nice and long. I also feel like I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I need to stop talking soon. Ooh. Strings. Oh no. Making a mess. Ew, this one did not get cooked well. Did I eat all my shrimps? I did. All the corn? I did. Potato? I did. Two whole peppers, I did.
Let's open up this and call it a day. and an egg. And a lobster that I don't want to open. I know I'm gonna get hate for that. I'm so sorry. I feel like I should donate them. I think there's two left in my freezer. That have been there for over a year or two. <laughs> Cause I, again, I purchased them in, not bulk, but I guess. Those are a good amount. They all have eggs, I'm like, oh. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching my seafood boil. I had a really good time here. It was so fun talking to you. This was delicious. I feel brain powered. I also feel like my voice is going away, so I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to be like, hi, guys. We're doing um, a non mukbang mukbang. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're going to <coughs> barely speak, literally. Man, I do talk a lot. Well, it was so good times. Uh, so good spending time with you. And if you made it to the end of the video, please write in, in your comment, paper. That's very random, but that's how I know you really made it. Write the word paper. And I know you made it to the end. And I'll be looking at your comments. See, ooh, we're gonna appreciate this lady. We're gonna, pre oh, not that lady. Shit, my paper. Don't come here, lady. But we'll see who writes paper. A lot of men will write paper. My channel's 50-50 men and women now. It used to be, I think it's because my name has got out there more from all <clears throat> of the drama, but when I first started YouTube, it was like 90% women. Now it's 50-50 men and women. Yep. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi, men. <clears throat> Welcome to my show. Hope you're enjoying yourself here. Yeah, but goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Peace. Let's go brush my teeth. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.